Welcome to Trauma Team Racing. What we have for you today is a first impression look at the triple screen implementation for F123. Now, the big question that I was asking, and I think probably many of you, was has this finally got its act together and does it have native triple screen support? Now, unfortunately, the answer is no. We're stuck with the same spanning techniques we've been using for the past couple of years on this F1 refresh, and ultimately, as before, it does work pretty well with some tweaks. Now, if you want to know the best way to set this up with regards to triple screens, I will leave a link to my video um, on how to set this up in the description below and also at the top here if you so wish to choose. Um, but ultimately, let's just have a little look and see what it plays like. Now, we are driving the Red Bull here. It is Spielberg Red Bull Ring, and we're driving as Max Verstappen. Not that that changed anything. And i got to say, I'm pretty happy with this. Now... The force feedback for me, let's just talk about that for a second, has been notoriously pretty weak throughout the past couple of titles and I've only played them for a few hours because I've ultimately been disappointed. Now, I'm running the F122 Fantec profile at the moment, just with a DD2 and the formula wheel you can see before you, and force feedback's pretty good. There's a nice connection to the road, I can feel what the tyres are doing, there's a good bit of strength being trans um, transferred through the steering column, and more importantly, I'm having fun. Now, how does the game run? Now, we're running this at max settings. We've got ray tracing activated and anything else I could throw with it, including the kitchen sink. And again, we're running a 4090. It runs it pretty well, as it should do. Um, we're getting about 90 to 100 frames per second. And I do note that when I ran this with 2021 last year with my 3090, it also ran it pretty well. The thing you're getting with the F1 games is they do look pretty, so if you like a bit of eye candy, you've got that, and also you're getting all the official tracks and things. I'm a big Formula One nut, and unfortunately, this is kind of the best place to turn for that. It's not a set of Corsa, but, you know, it's good fun. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Going to be doing a bit more on F123 because I'm having a lot of fun with it. You guys take it easy. Subscribe if you like. Bye for now.